Now we got the hood open, we can really see the heart behind this build. 2006 LBZ model Duramax paired with that Allison 1000 six-speed transmission. Customer opted for our stage four transmission, which allows us to tune with a little bit more aggressiveness. Welcome back to another vlog. Paul Sanderson here, standing in the San Diego facility for Predator Motorsports. You guys have had me slammed in the office with phone calls, working on the projects that are in-house, but I am glad to be out here showing off this truck behind me. It's a 2001 soft top. Customer wanted to go over the top with it. As you can see, with the wheel package is one. The color we went with is another. I'm gonna go over the details of the build today to show you all the ins and outs of what we did. As you can see, it has our D-ring brush guard, one of our first products we put out. It's tied into our Viper bumper with that 12K worn winch that's tucked away in there. We did something different with this truck. It went with the rigid flush mount in a Midnight series. You'll see that up on the light bar also. This is the single row Midnight. We do offer it as our double stack light bar with the standard double stack rigids and or the single row in that midnight finish you see there. I'm liking this look, gives you the lumens you wanna see out of an LED light bar. Both myself and Jared had a lot to do with this build. The customer gave us some creative freedom as we went through. I hope you guys enjoy what we picked out. Working our way down the side of the truck, I wanna point out our RPP. This is the heavy duty variant of our rock rail series. We have a model of rock rails that bolt to the factory RPP. This is the heavy duty, made out of complete full body panel of 316 steel. This, I feel, is a huge step up over the factory aluminum RPP that's on there. We integrated the step for some assistance getting in. It's a taller truck, sitting on 40s. It does have our spring kit in here, so it's got another four inch lift on top of the two inch lift that's required for that large turbo of the Duramax. Great feature with this addition to any build is the side impact protection that you get, plus the off-road capabilities. If you set it down on a rock, I personally have had my vehicle get hung up on the aluminum RPP. This is 3 16 plate steel. It's gonna slide off most surfaces and get you back, keep you on that trail, keep you having fun. So let's get under the hood, check out that Duramax Allison combo along with the cooling package and all the features that really make this Duramax a, a daily driver. Something that takes a once in a while H1 to something you can grab those keys and have a great time running with it day on day out. We got the hood open, we can really see the heart behind this build. 2006 LBZ model Duramax paired with that Allison 1000 six-speed transmission. Customer opted for our stage four transmission, which allows us to tune with a little bit more aggressiveness, getting up to that 450, 500 horsepower, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque out of this Duramax. Love the way it's done. From years back when I was doing the conversions myself with the team here at San Diego Predator, I've been impressed and proud. I think it's done the way GM would do it, AM General would do it. From the way we've adapted the intercooler radiator package to our heavy duty cooling system that's attached to this particular truck, I just think all the elements came together to make this now a daily driver. Getting away from the issues with the 6.5, with that PMD failure, the reliability issues that that 6.5 had, and the lackluster performance and the drivability of it. One of the things that I want to point out on this truck here, we added to the heavy duty cooling package is some of the extra trim work on the hood. It's called a forced air induction system. That's again, gonna complement the hood scoop forcing that air through the cooling stack itself. Another thing you'll see, we mentioned it earlier, Josh with the CNC department there has been doing some killer work with our engraving. We have an anodized billet plate here, the Predator Duramax with our Predator logo there. You'll see the added fuse box. This is really the only interference with the vehicle that we use to tie in and integrate the Duramax to the truck. ECM over here is sitting pretty with some of the key work that Tommy did along with Cheeto on getting it cleaned up, ready to go with the added horsepower. Again, getting back to that drivability. You'll see a few other features in there, the pickup for the tack, 
That's for the auto meter gauges inside the vehicle. We're gonna get in there now and, and show that side of it off. Again, and a lot of features that are new, that have just been released on our website that you can check out in application here on the truck. Let's get in there. As you can tell, the interior was not ignored on this build. Magic Hands Roy upstairs worked his magic and did a full leather treatment throughout. Matching orange red accents, the exterior color, complementing on top of what Jared and the team did with the sound deadening throughout the whole body and belly of the vehicle. Keep that road noise down, insulator layer for a little bit of the heat cooling factor of it. Uh, goes well with the new um, insulated top that we put on to, to cap this this build itself there's a ton of features over here and we'll get these cameras over to really check that out i want to point out a few things that we did do replacing the cigar lighters with the usb port you got two dual uh, usb parts there uh, both five amp so you got two in the front you got a single one in the back so given the both driver and all passengers access to charge their smart devices and personal devices that they're carrying. So let's bring the camera around so we can really go over these details uh, in the, the driver's bay here, uh, from our grab handles to that stereo, to the Switch Pro's interface, and the really cool communication center that CNC Josh over there engraved, showing you all the, the lights. Now that we've got the autometer gauges, we don't have the factory comm boxes in there. We had to give you a spot to have those lights. Anyway, get yourself over here, let's take a look. All right, Jason's got me squirreled away in the passenger seat here, but it gives you guys a great vantage point of all those upgrades I was mentioning earlier. Starting off with this Momo steering wheel. The Trek wheel, I think, is a great fit for the H1 and the Humvee. The factory wheel is so lackluster, it's a skinny thing you're holding on to. Jared did a bang up job installing the black on black autometers. Josh from CNC department integrated our billet engraved communications panel here. It has an engraved ABS brake, check engine weight, and TT4 light so you can see what's going on with the engine and with what gear select you're in. Elephant in the room being the big pioneer unit that is um, handling all the audio video for the eight speakers I mentioned earlier, two subs behind the seat, and taking the signal from that backup camera, making sure we can get in this truck, drive it daily without any issue. That's why all these upgrades are instrumental. But one thing you might see that is different than any other soft top out there is the integration of our alpha grab handle at the A pillar. It came stock on the 2006. This 2001 only came equipped with a very remedial grab handle. Every single one of those, you end up losing that little plug that covers the bolt. This is a quick fix. It's billet. It's got some weight to it. Again, the customer did not spare any expense on this build. This thing is, is outfitted to the top. I mentioned earlier the Switch Pros. This is the instrument panel or the cluster to be able to function the lights. Very simply labeled, quick and easy from the driver's position, be able to reach over and hit all the lights you want from the brush guard light, the Viper light, light bar, rear light bar, which we'll show you here shortly, and the Viper rear with those uh, assisted backup lights in there. Everybody here plays a key part in what builds these trucks. The team is phenomenal from Flo and D with the engine building and transmission prep, Jared and the rest of the team, Randy of course, uh, with all the outfitting in the truck. Mentioning all this because I don't want to overstep the seats. That's something that I feel is instrumental. That's the interface between operator and vehicle. This is our mid seat, mid grade seat. Uh, we have another base level where we just put a seat skin over the factory seat. This one, however, is the mid-grade where we'll go ahead and Roy will strip it down, shape the foam, square off the front, squaring off the back, adding some material to the bolsters, enhancing this 20-year-old seat to something that you'd be you know, happy to sit on from road trips to daily driving. Again, going over and really driving home the utilitarian re function of the vehicle post-predator treatment. Again, hats off, Roy up there in our upholstery department, killing it with this seat treatment. Now we're at the back of the truck, I want to show you how we wrapped up the rear end of this H1. The search and rescue bed rack is a great addition to the soft top, giving you some function to be able to store things in the bed. We actually stuffed 
a fifth matching sized wheel in the in the bed here the center assist will allow you to access that you'll see above the rear window there we have our soft top light bar with again the midnight series single row lights to be outfitted this truck with led package like i mentioned before all the way throughout the truck with the clear leds for the markers and those tail lights here's another a good shot at that side marker light that i mentioned in the front Again, there's a halo where it lights up in red. Hit a switch and you have that scene light that'll light up the sides of the truck for off-road capabilities. Viper bumper, one of our stellar outfitted parts on the vehicle, has integrated flush-mounted lights, again, in that rigid series. We have our camera mount here, fed to that Pioneer monitor I showed you earlier. We're inside the truck. Big nine inch screen really gives you a full panoramic of what you're backing into. Again, utilitarian function, something will help you use the vehicle more often. The more comfortable you feel driving these vehicles, the more you're gonna reach for those keys over anything else. We accented this paint with the texture treatment throughout the bed, fender rails, and inside the bed. Always like that, nice robust. Again, getting to the purpose of these trucks to use them, to be able to go out there and enjoy them. This rear bumper does not have a winch, but it has the capabilities of handling a 16.5, very large worn winch in the back there. That's a wrap on the overview of the orange 2001 H1 soft top. The team here did a bang up job. Everybody stepped up their game and really turned out one hell of a product. Uh, I wish I wasn't so rough in front of the camera. It's been many months. Thank you for bearing with me through this process. Do have one little surprise. This truck is gonna be for sale. It'll be posted on our website here shortly. We'll have full description, full build sheet, and the cost for you to be able to call in, put that deposit down, and take this thing home. It's ready to go now, so stay tuned for that. Also, hit the subscription and notification button, and stay tuned for more episodes where I'll be on there bumping like a fool. What? <laughs>